Just a few hours earlier tonight, police were called to the same apartment building for shots fired, eventually finding a shooting victim at a nearby restaurant. KCA United Tasia Nevels has the details of that shooting and more from shocked diners at a popular local restaurant. Tasia? Sioux City Police are still searching for the people involved in a shooting that injured a 21-year-old man. The shooting happening outside a large apartment complex around 4.30, right as the nearby Bob Rose Points after restaurant was just filling up for dinner. It's, you know, it's not every day you're sitting down eating at a restaurant, cops burst in. What started off as a regular day for customers at Bob Rose restaurant quickly turned active. I was sitting down at the table, coming here for Wing Wednesday, and uh, all of a sudden I heard, put your hands up. Like Two city police in pursuit of the victim from a shooting at the Riverview Apartments just behind the restaurant. I saw the guy, and it was really weird and random, and he was using the bar phone. Police say the 21-year-old male shooting victim came into the restaurant after getting hit by a bullet. That turned out to be a victim of the shooting. He was transported to Mercy Medical Center. Apparently, we don't have any descriptions of suspects. Police say the victim is not sharing many details about the shooting and are still searching for a suspect. I feel like everyone was just shocked. And a few people must have knew what was going on because they told the cops where the suspect was. The many people who saw the shooting victim run into the restaurant shaken by the violence and large police presence in their neighborhood. It's weird thinking because you see stuff on the news everywhere about how, you know, there's these shootings and there's bad things happening everywhere, but you think you're safe, you know, yeah. especially somewhere that you go all the time. I mean, we don't want people shooting in Sioux City, period. Um, I'm glad no one was seriously injured or appears to be seriously injured at this time. Uh, that's why we continually try to work with the public and address some of these concerns before they boil into shootings and, and try to mitigate some of these conflicts. Sioux City Police are asking anyone with information about the incident to contact the Sioux City Police Department or Crime Stoppers. Tasia Nevels, KCAU 9 News.